Hello, my name is Walid Raban, and I'm a certified enterprise PDM professional for GoEngineer. In this quick tips video, I will be discussing how to link your data card variables to Microsoft Excel 2010 documents, such as an ECN, using Enterprise PDM 2013. Let's take a look at my data card that I've designated for Microsoft Excel and specifically engineering change notices. I've created two two controls and link them to two variables called ECN number and ECN description. I've also added attributes to each one of those variables. As you can see here, the block name, custom property, attribute, ECN number, and the extension that it will apply to, XLSX. For ECN description, custom property for the block name, for the attribute name, ECN description, and the extension again XLSX. Now that I've defined my variables with attributes, let's take a look at how to design your Excel spreadsheet. I've created a templates folder in my vault and I've placed an ECN template document there as a starting point. Before I continue, I will check this file out to allow me to edit it and then I'm going to open it inside of Excel. You can see that I have two cells here that I would like to link to the two controls that are on my data card. First, let's go ahead and program these cells and name them. To do that, we will go Formulas, and we will go to the Name Manager. In the Name Manager, let's click on New. We will assign that cell a name and call it ECN Number. Click OK. I'll do this once more for ECN description, ECN description, and let's go ahead and link them to the cell right here. Click OK. Now I've defined those two cells and named them accordingly, but we're not done. We now need to link these names to the custom properties of Excel. Let's take a look at how that's done. Let's go File. On the Info section, over to the right, you'll see where it says Properties. Click on Properties and go to Advanced Properties. In Advanced Properties, navigate over to the Custom tab, and we'll go ahead and name a custom property that we will link to the name that we've defined our cell with. ECN Number, Link to Content, check that box you will be presented with the names that we defined earlier in the name manager. We're going to select ECN number and click add. We'll do this once more for ECN description. Go ahead and choose ECN description for the source and click add. Now we've officially linked those cells to the custom property attributes for this Excel document. I've click, I'll click OK and then we will save this document. I'll go ahead and close this document so that I can check it in. We'll come back to EPDM, check in. Next, I would like to have an ECN number associated with all the ECNs that I will create. Let's go to the administration tool. In the serial number section, you can see that I've created an ECN serial number. Its prefix is ECN dash, and it's a four digit counter. Now that I've created my ECN serial number, I'm going to use that in a template command so that I can create new ECNs very quickly and easily. Let's take a look at how I've started this. Menu string, new ECN, next, next. I'm going to need a template variable that's going to pull the next available ECN number. So template variables, new, I'm just going to name my uh, template variable TECN, assign it to the serial number ECN, which I've created. Hit OK. Go next. Now I would like to decide where these ECN documents will be uh, created. Uh, I would like them to be placed in the ECN folder. Now that I've created my ECN folder, I would like all ECN documents to be placed into that folder. So we'll say new. 
we'll use our ECN template. And the output file name that I'd like to use is that ECN uh, template variable that I created that's going to place an ECN serial number as the file name. I also want that same number to also appear on the data card, so I'm going to link it to ECN number variable that's on my data card. Make some additional settings here and hit OK. Now that I have my file defined, that will be created every time I want a new ECN. Let's go next. I've assigned a nice little uh, icon using the XLSX uh, extension and I've given myself permission. I am the admin at this time. Okay, now let's go ahead and test our uh, ECN creation. So back to Windows Explorer. I'm going to go back up one in my Quick Tips uh, vault and then I'm going to go to the ECN folder. Right click new. There's my new ECN template which I've created. You'll see the next ECN number is 0325. Notice that it also placed that number onto my data card. I'm going to type a short description. Material change to steel. I'll click open file and we should see those values now appear in our document as such. This has been Walid Raban with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video.